Hello dear readers, in this video we will discuss current affairs that is on May 2023. All questions are very important. If you are new in this channel, please do subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon to get the latest update on this channel. So let's get started. Here is the first question. India established its ever first ever millet experience center at which place? Correct answer is option number B, that is New Delhi. Here India established its first ever millet experience center at New Delhi with an aim to raise awareness on millets and encouraging its adoption among general public. The United Nations General Assembly declared the year 2023 as the International Year of Millets. Next question. Siddhartha Monti has been appointed as the chairman of the Correct answer is option number B, that is LIC. Next question. Recently, the 22nd session of the United Nations Parliament Forum on Indigenous Issues was held in which place? Correct answer is option number C, that is New York. Here recently, the, recently, the 22nd session of the United Nations Parliament Forum on Indigenous Issue was held in New York. The theme of this event was Indigenous People, Human Health, Planetary and Territorial Health, and Climate Change, a right-based approach. Next question. Which state in India will set to host the Global Investor Meet on January 10 and 11, 2024? Correct answer is option number D, that is Tamil Nadu. Here, Tamil Nadu government will set to host the Global Investor Meet in Chennai on January 10 and 11, 2024. This will be the first Global Investor Meet for the current government. The previous two meets were held in 2015 and 2019 during the previous government. Next question, which state or union territory government has granted its women employees as a special two-hour break on three Friday a month? Correct answer is option number C, that is put in cherry. Here, Bunichari government has granted its women employees a special two-hour break of three Friday a month. They can start work at 10.45 a.m. instead of the usual at 45 a.m. It aims to help them perform puja and manage household works. Next question. Which district in India has become the first district in the country to be declared ODF, Open Defection Free Plus? Correct answer is option number A, that is Wenan. Here, Wenan has become the first district in the country to be declared ODF+. Plus. It has come first in the ODF+, Plus ranking of the Swatch Parat mission in 3-star three category, three category. Earlier, the district had won the two national awards in the sanitation and waste management sector. Next question, Giga Chad is an artificial intelligent doll owned by which country? Correct answer is option number C, that is Russia. Next question, India first international multimodal logistic park is underway in which state? Correct answer is option number A, that is Assam. Here, India first international multimodal logistic park is underway in Assam and is expected to be completed by the end of this year. The development of the first international multimodal logistic park is in the line with Prime Minister Modi vision of transforming, sorry, transformation through transportation network in the northeastern region of India including neighboring countries like Bhutan and Bangladesh. Next question, which country recently launched the Machine Can See 2023 Summit? Correct answer is option number A, that is UAE. Here, the UAE government recently launched the Machine Can See 2023 Summit, an international conference on artificial intelligence held at the Museum of the Future in Dubai. The event was held in partnership with Artificial Intelligence, Digital Economy, and Remote Work, Application Office, and Machine Can See Company. The vital role of the conference was to bring experts from around the world to discuss the future of AI and its potential in contributing to the UAE vision of creating the next Silicon Valley. Next question, recently in the news, Mission Life in India, global initiative to combat climate change and promote sustainable development. Mission Life followed a P3 model which stands for Bro Planet and Correct answer is option number A, that is a people. Here, Mission Life in India's global initiative to combat climate change and promote sustainable development leading to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The idea was first introduced at the 26th that United Nations Climate Change Conference on the, of the Parties COP26 in Glasgow in 2021. Mission Life follows the B3 model which stands for Bro Planet Bible, focusing on the lifestyles of the planet and by the planet. Next question, Dawaki Land Board is located in which northeastern state in India? Correct answer is option number D. 
Next question. Recently, the 42nd summit of ASEAN has begun in which country? Correct answer. Option number B. Here, recently, the 42nd summit of the ASEAN has begun in Indonesia with a team of ASEAN affairs epicenter of growth. The summit aims to demonstrate the block hopes and effort to become the center and driving force global development. <coughs> Next question, after Jammu and Kashmir, a new lithium deposit has been recently discovered in which state in India? Correct answer, option number C, that is uh, Rajasthan. Here, after J Jammu and Kashmir, a new lithium deposit has been discovered in Rajasthan. The newly discovered reserve in Tegan, Rajasthan are believed to be larger than those found in Jammu and Kashmir and claim that they could meet up to 80% of India's demand for lithium. Next question, which country has recently approved the world's first respiratory sensitive virus RSV vaccine for older adults? Correct answer is option number B, that is United States. Here, United States has approved the world's first respiratory sensitive virus RSV vaccine for older adults. The RSV vaccine was approved for people aged 60 and older. RSV is a common respiratory virus that usually cause milk gall like symptoms. Next question, India will set to launch its own heat index by which year? Correct answer is by 2024. Here, India will set to launch its own heat index by 2024 to quantify the impact of heat on its population and generate impact best heat wave alert for specific locations. It includes various parameters like wind, temperatures, humidity, duration of exposure, etc. Next question. Recently, Article 355 has been invoked in which state? Correct answer is option number D, that is Manipur. Here, Article 355 has been invoked in Manipur to take charge of the security of the state of the ongoing violence. Article 355 of the Indian Constitution is a part of emergency provision contained in Part Part 18 of the Constitution of India. It encourages the center to take all necessary steps to protect the state against internal disturbance and external aggression. It empowers the center to take necessary steps to protect a state. Next question. India first Indian Air Force Heritage Center is inaugurated in which state or Union Territory? Correct answer is option number A, that is Chandigarh. Here India first Indian Air Force Heritage Center is inaugurated in Chandigarh. It also housed for the first IF made Baden aircraft Air Force Kanpur 1 Vintage Prototype Aircraft. It will highlight the IF role in various wars. Next question. Tungana Temple is located in which state in India? Correct answer is option number D, that is Uttarakhand. Here, Tungana Temple is, Temple is located in Uttarakhand. Recently, it has been declared as a monument of national importance by the Central. It is a significant pilgrimage site for Hindus. Next question, which state government has launched program called School Health Program? Correct answer is option number B, that is Uttar Pradesh. Here, Uttar Pradesh government has launched program called School Health Program in Lucknow. The program aims to improve the health of students and has been implemented in three schools as a part of the pilot project. Next question, International Day of the Planet Health is celebrated on which day? Correct answer is option number B, that is 12th May. Here, International Day of Planet Health Day is celebrated on 12th May to raise global awareness on how protecting plant health can help in hunger, reduce poverty, protect biodiversity and the environment, and boost economic development. The theme of the 2023 International Day Planet Health is Planet Health for Environment Protection. Next question, who has been appointed as the next director of the CBI? Correct answer, option number B, that is Bravin Sud. Here Bravin Sud has been appointed as the next director of CBI Central Bureau of Investigation. Next question, which country is going to host the annual Asian Tourism Forum in January 2024? Correct answer, option number D, that is Laos. Here, Laos is going to host the annual Asian Tourism Forum in January 2024, which will take place in the country's capital. 
The theme of the forum is Quality and Responsible Tourism Sustaining Asian Future, which reflects the focuses on sustainable and responsible tourism practices. Next question. Recently, Ashadosh Dixit took over as a chief of the Curry answer is option number A, Air Staff. Here, Air Marshal Ashadosh Dixit took over as the deputy chief of the Air Staff. Mr. Dixit is qualified flying instructor as well as an experiment test pilot over with over 3,300 hours of flying experience on fighter, trainer, and a transport aircraft. Next question. Recently, who took take on as the new chairman of UBSC? Carry answer is option number A, that is Manuj Soni. Here, Manuj Soni has taken on as the new chairman of UBSC. Soni was joined as a commission member on June 28, 2017. He was also served three terms as a vice chancellor. UBC was established on 1st October 1926 by the Government of India under the Government of India Act 1919. The Commission headquarters is located in New Delhi. The UBC chairman is appointed by the President of India. Next question is the first subsea research lab has unveiled in which place? Correct answer is option number A, that is Bune. Here, is the first subsea research lab has unveiled at Mid World Bis University Bune. The Center of the Subsea Engineering Research CSRE aims to revol revolutionize training and education for the global oil and gas industry by providing world experiment and fostering multidisciplinary talent. Next question Samudra Shakti 2023 is a bilateral novel ex ex exercise between India and Karigan series, option number A, that is Thailand. Here, the fourth edition of the Indian and Indonesia bilateral exercise concluded. Samudra Shakti 2023 is an Indian Indonesian naval exercise. The main aims of this exercise is to enhance interoperability, jointness, and mutual cooperation between both navies. Next question Barbara King Solver and Herna Slice were awarded the Baldizer Prize 2023 in which category? Carrying answer is option number B, that is fiction. Here, Barbara King Solver and Herna Stice were awarded the Baldizer Prize 2023 in the fiction category. Barbara King Solver was awarded for her novel Demon Coverhead, and Herna Stice was won for his novel Trust. An ex question who has been appointed as the Sportsman of the Year at the 2023 Laurel Larry's World Sports Award. Carrying answer is option number B, that is Messi. Next question, which ministry has launched Saksham? Carrying answer, option number C, that is Ministry of Health. Here, Ministry of Health has launched the Saksham, stimulating advanced knowledge for sustainable health management. It is a learning management information system, LIMS of MOFHW. Saksham is dedicated and a unified platform for providing online training and medical education to all health professionals in the country. Next question. Hardy Sagar, a green board guidelines, 2023 has been launched by which ministry? Karigan series option number A, that is Ministry of Port. Here, Ministry of Port has launched Hardy Sagar, the green board guidelines, 2023. It provides a comprehensive action plan for achieving targeted outcomes in terms of quantified Reductions in carbon emission over defined timelines and achieving sustainable coal developments. It aims to provide a promote environment friendly across all our ports. It also aims to minimize waste through reducing to attend zero waste discharge. Next question, the 35th edition of Indian Thai Coordinated Petrol into Thaina Gorbat was completed in which place? Correct answer is option number A, that is Andaman C. Here, the 35th edition of Indian Thai coordinated petrol into Thai Corbat concluded in Arabian Sea. The main purpose is to reinforce maritime linkage between the two countries and ensure the safety and security of the international trade route in the Indian Ocean. Next question Which state in India has become first in the country to implement the right to work? Correct answer is option number C, that is Punjab. Here, Punjab state has become the first state in the country to implement the right to work by making it mandatory for all road owing agencies to provide footpaths and cycle tracks in all future expansion of roads and constructions. 
Next question, the 6th edition of the 2-day International Indian Auction Conference has been started in which place? Correct answer is option number B, that is Thaka. Here, the 6th edition of the 2-day International Indian Auction Conference has been started in Thaka, Bangladesh. The conference is being organized by the Indian Foundations in association with the Bangladesh Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The theme of the conference is Peace, Prosperity and Partnership for a Resident Future. Next question. Mulam Chinom is an annual festival celebrated in which state or Indian territory? Correct answer is option number D, that is Ladakh. Here, Mulam Chinom is an annual festival celebrated in Ladakh. Mulam Chinom is a major annual prayer of the Sangha community of Ladakh gathered at one platform. Next question, which international airport in India has become the first in the country to have reading launch? Correct answer is option number B, that is Lal Bahadur Shastri International Airport. Here, Lal Bahadur Shastri International Airport has become the first in the country to have reading launch. The launch has been established with assistance of the National Book Trust. Next question, which of the following has launched a campaign 100 days, 100 base? Correct answer is option number A, that is RBI, Reserve Bank of India. Here, Reserve Bank of India is launching campaign 100 days and 100 base for bank to dress and settle the top 100 unclaimed deposit of every bank in every district of the country within 100 days. The main aim is to reduce the quantum of unclaimed deposit in the banking system and return such deposit to their rightful owners of claimants. Next question, who has been appointed as the Chief Executive Officer of Twitter? Correct answer is option number D, that is Linda Question, Government of India has launched Operation Karuna to provide humanitarian assistance for people in which country? Collect correct answer, option number C, that is Myanmar. Here, Government of India has launched Operation Karuna to provide humanitarian assistance for people in Myanmar, which is affected by Cyclone Mukta. Three INS Shivalik and Gamorda and Savidri carrying relief material have already reached Akon, Myanmar. Next question. Which state or Indian territory has received the first rank in the Best Urban Local Body category of the National Water Award 2022? Here the correct answer is option number B, that is Goa. Here, which state or Indian territory has received the first rank in the Best Urban Local Body category of the National Water Award 2022? Here the correct answer is option number A, that is Chandigarh. Here, Chandigarh State has received the first rank in the Best Urban Local Body category of the National Award, Water Award 2022. Next question, which ministry has launched 75 or 35 initiative? Next question, which state or union, union territory has received the first rank in the Best Urban Local Body category of the National Award, National Water Award 2022? Correct answer is option number A, that is Chandigarh. Next question, which ministry has launched 75 or 35 initiative? The correct answer is option number C, that is Ministry of Health. Here, Ministry of Health has launched the 75 to 25 initiative to screen 75 million people for hypertension and diabetes on standard care by 2025. So thank you for watching the videos and if you like the videos and get something from this video please do subscribe the channel and press the notification icon to get the latest update on this channel. And if you need PDF of this video you can join the telegram channel general knowledge inside I will provide here and the link will be given in the description. So see you in the next video.